Give us more. Well, uh, your name is here. Now, I know you that, didn't ask us to look no, for that. No, I, I didn't. That's but this model you. was pretty much uh, your suggestion. I mean, you are one of the few people, maybe the only person I know, with this particular model mindset. Um, there are others that have different versions of the creation model. Yes. Uh, in addition to that, we found waters, we found the trees, we found the word smell, sweet smell, we found song, light, pleasant, earth knowledge, we found the word pink. Remember the light, now the 6365 nanometer light? Yes. It seems to be especially good for growing plant life and relaxing the mind. We found a plant, we found transparent, we found flood. Okay, that's in Genesis chapter 1, verse 12. We found behemoth. Because the flood actually destroyed this canopy. That's correct. We found the word oxygen, and we found the word hydrogen. We found serpent coming right down through here in the yellow. Uh, we found a shield. We found the word Jesus many times. Marvelous. Metallic, uh, rakia, restoration, and harmonize. We found Abraham, creation, sweet, Noah, right here in the gray. We found Eve right there in the pink, and wouldn't you know it, just beside Eve's name is man, and the word Adam is crossing man, making a little four-cornered star right there. This was the uh, beatific world, the ecosphere in which God created them to live. That is correct. And to enjoy Him and all His creation. Now, that's going to be restored in the future. I'm so sorry the we don't have it The word restoration is there. Restoration isn't that encouraging. That's wonderfully encouraging. So I'm encouraged with the work that you've done, the world-class work that you've done on this canopy. And this certainly uh, gives strong credence to the fact that these data are written into the original creation that God designed. That's correct. And since behemoth is there, that solves the problem. Now, we come to this great behemoth, the dinosaur. In fact, in Job chapter 40, verses 15, uh, through 23, behemoth the is described. behemoth, whom I created with thee. With thee, with man. And then behemoth is described physically in latter verses as having bones like bars of iron. iron. Most of the creatures that we observe uh, have uh, partially hollow bones, but his are like bars of iron. We know this from lifting them out. Yes, can and, tons. and you helped to do that. Yes, sir. In addition to that, he's called the chief of the ways of God. So, behemoth is found in the word code here in and Genesis chapter 1. And he a tail of cedar. A tail, a tail like a cedar tree. Which sweeping. an ox or hippopotamus does not have. That's correct. So, the answer to behemoth, the dinosaur, is not in the evolutionary model, but in the creation model. Because with his small lung ratio, Texas A&M, again, found that if you double the atmospheric pressure, and that's what those conditions would have done, if you double the atmospheric pressure, you triple the assimilation of available oxygen. So here, this creature, uh, of the whales would not have to dive deeply. Right. This creature would not have to be lethargic. He could be totally virile uh, because he could get the full oxygen saturation to the deep cell tissue of his body. Creation science is far superior to evolutionary science. Amen. So, what we talked about today is being hugged by a canopy. God designed life on earth to be corollary with all of life on earth. For instance, one of the major problems we have today is the buildup of anaerobic bacteria. But if you have two atmospheres of pressure with 25 or so percent oxygen, that eliminates the anaerobic bacteria. Gangrene has been a major problem and uh, cuts and wounds that would not heal. But under hyperbaric oxygen, they heal very readily and very quickly. So this solves a lot of problems. But the title of the program is Hugged by a Canopy. God has embraced mankind physically in his design. He's created it for the security of mankind, for the happiness of mankind. Larry violated the moral code of God. So in his fall, he introduced death to the entire creation. Death came by sin. The book of Romans is very clear about that. We envision long generations, long eras and epochs of evolutionary time of death and destruction until man finally arrived. But that is not what the biblical record states. And if death did not generate, did not originate because of sin, 
then all of those creatures can be explained in dying. But if death did originate by sin, how do you explain the death of all of those creatures? The Bible really makes sense. But in order to fully understand it, in order to fully appreciate it, you need to know the author. You need to have a discussion with him. And that discussion should begin with a prayer. This prayer. Pray it with me. Dear God, I know that I'm a sinner. I know I have violated your will. But I want peace in my heart. And I want forgiveness for my sin. Dear God, right now, I thank you for providing Jesus to die for my sins. And right now, I open my heart to Jesus. Lord Jesus, come in right now. I know you're the Son of God. I know you died for me. I want you in my heart. Come in and save me forever. I'll live for you with all my heart. I trust you pray that prayer. If so, God himself and the person of his Son entered your heart, mind, and life, and eternity. I trust that you've received some instruction and some encouragement because creation science is far better science.